I'm Jacob James. And I'm Stephen Clary. We're both photographers, filmmakers, and Panasonic Lumix ambassadors. Anamorphic lenses were once a technical choice for filmmakers to get a wider aspect ratio from film. Nowadays, with the advent of digital cinema, choosing to shoot an anamorphic is as much of a creative choice as it is a technical one. The two most common types of lenses used in production are spherical and anamorphic. The majority of lenses you will have encountered are spherical. They're the standard lens type for shooting both stills and video. They're called spherical because they don't affect the shape of the image circle in any way. It remains spherical. Anamorphic lenses, on the other hand, have a specific stretch factor, the most common being two times. These lenses compress the image circle by a factor of two horizontally. This then requires stretching in post-production for normal viewing, as you can see in this example here. The main reason to shoot anamorphic nowadays is for its very recognisable aesthetic. Horizontal lens flares and oval bokeh are the most visually apparent of those. Due to the fact that a 100mm anamorphic lens has the same field of view as a 50mm spherical lens, the depth of field of anamorphic is smaller due to the longer focal length required for the same field of view. The unique design of anamorphic lenses also has implications. Many anamorphic lenses are often ordinary spherical lenses in the back with additional glass elements that compress or anamorphize the output. This makes the lens larger, reduces light transmission, and can often introduce additional distortion. The added complexity and larger glass elements almost always mean that anamorphic lenses will be a bit more expensive and quite considerably heavier than standard spherical lenses. Getting started with shooting with anamorphic on the S1H is very easy. The first step is to select an anamorphic shooting mode. In order to do this, simply navigate to the recording quality menu in the video menu on the submenu image format. Under recording quality, you can find a number of anamorphic options labeled Anamore. This will give you a 4x3 Super 35 filming option. This is designed for shooting with anamorphic lenses with a squeeze ratio of more than 1.5. If you're shooting with something less than 1.5, such as a 1.33 or 1.3 anamorphic, you can select a standard 16 by nine aspect ratio recording option. The S1H comes with a raft of anamorphic desqueezing options to suit almost all anamorphic lenses, including the 1.3 times, 1.33 times, 1.5 times, 1.8 times, and two times. As the lens I'm using here is a two times Cook anamorphic, I'll select two times in the desqueeze menu to preview the image correctly. In order to set this, simply navigate to the anamorphic desqueeze option in the settings menu under monitor display video submenu and select anamorphic desqueeze display. Here you have an option to choose from 1.3, 1.33, 1.5, 1.8 and two times. For this use, I'll select two times. Once you've desqueezed the footage, you may also wish to stabilize the footage, especially if you're shooting anamorphic handheld. The S1H also comes equipped with stabilization options that make, the, make use of its in-body five axis stabilization, stabilize anamorphic footage relative to its stretch factor. To set this, simply go to the image stabilization options, which can be found under the video menu, under the others submenu, and select image stabilizer. Here you'll see the anamorphic video option and you can select the stabilization that matches the stretch factor of the lens you're using. And that's a quick guide to shooting anamorphic with the Lumix S1H. Panasonic.